Despite eat less, move more sounding like a simple task, long-term weight loss maintenance success rates are notoriously poor. I mean, piss poor, if I'm honest. Sustaining significant weight loss in the long term can be fucking difficult. It is frequently quoted that 95% of people who lose weight will gain it all back. But is this figure correct? As far as I can tell, this 95% figure originated from a paper in 1959. It concluded that only 5% of patients lost 40 pounds, and when examining 100 consecutive obese patients, only one patient lost 40 pounds. But it's impossible to claim a definitive success rate for a multitude of reasons. Primarily, what is the definition of success? One paper proposed losing 10% or more of your body weight intentionally and keeping it off for at least one year. And by this criteria, it proposed a success rate of around 20%. Quoting specific figures depends on which data you're looking at. But arguments about exact percentages aside, we can all agree that improvements can be made. So let's touch on some physiological reasons why weight loss maintenance is so difficult. Firstly, metabolic rate will decrease in tandem with weight loss. Due to this, it is likely that many people will hit a weight loss plateau at some point. And without appropriate guidance and understanding, this is where a lot of people might feel disheartened and give up on whatever it is they're doing. On top of this, appetite may increase in response to weight loss. One trial covertly caused weight loss using drug intervention and found that for each kilogram of body weight someone lost, they consumed about 100 calories more per day. So when you combine these together, it means that some people will lose weight and require fewer calories, but also feel hungrier. And let's face it, that is quite a potent combination for making any nutrition plan harder to stick to. So what do we do about it? In terms of counselling, here are five proposed recommendations from a review paper interspersed with some of my own less diplomatic thoughts. Number one, long-term benefits require long-term attention. Let's face it, a lot of people get sucked into bullshit nutrition plans that promise extreme short-term results but pay fuck all attention to long-term behavioral change. It also makes sense that long-term support is helpful rather than giving someone a nutrition plan and just waving them on their way, which is unfortunately common. Yep, here's your weight loss plan, good luck. Number two, provide weight maintenance specific behavioural strategies. Maybe it would be helpful for people to focus on a healthy behaviour checklist rather than focusing exclusively on the scales. Number three, strengthen satisfaction with outcome. Watching the scales go down during a weight loss phase can be motivating, but a weight maintenance phase doesn't have this external reward. If watching the scales go down is the only stimulus for motivation, it makes sense that a weight maintenance phase would be more difficult. So focusing on other outcomes as well, like improved health markers, might reinforce motivation. Number four, appeal to deeper motivations. Arbitrarily picking a nutrition plan without any personal significance is a shot in the dark. Oh, you want to lose weight? Great, here's a low carb plan. Likewise, if someone hates the gym, Strongly encouraging gym workouts is going to be a painful process for them. You know, like wanking with sandpaper or trying to drag your naked body through a field of barbed wire. But if someone finds something that they find personally enjoyable, it stands to reason that they're more likely to want to stick with it. Number five, develop cognitive flexibility. Many people approach weight loss or fitness in general with extreme all or nothing changes. You know, like suddenly cutting out entire macronutrients or most of their favorite foods. Understanding that rigid and perfect adherence is not a realistic goal can give people the cognitive flexibility to take things in their stride when things don't seem to go according to plan. You know, unlike going on holiday for a week and just saying, fuck it, I've ruined it all. To conclude, there are a multitude of physiological and psychological reasons that can make weight loss maintenance difficult. And more focus should be placed on long-term maintenance rather than zooming in exclusively on short-term weight loss alone. And I'm going to allow this final paragraph to sign off the video for me.